Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm from Viva La Puppet. Basically, I'm a puppet designer, builder, and puppeteer. So every day I get to make puppets. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if we made a puppet together. All right, so first we have to think about what kind of puppet we should make today. Pink armadillo. Okay, pink armadillo. That's perfect. Okay, so let's do the pink armadillo. This is the pink armadillo. He's an endangered species and he lives in the grasslands and plains of Argentina. He's actually the smallest species of armadillo that there is. And he can literally fit in the palm of your hand. It's a pretty cool creature. To start building, this is what we'll need. Tape, cardboard, plastic. You can get this off of your toy, like a Barbie doll box or an action figure box. Fur from a fabric store, teddy bear stuffing, needle and thread, wooden skewers, glue stick, hole punch, rubber band or elastic, exacto knife, styrofoam ball, markers and pens, scissors, glue gun, paint or textured paper to make the armadillo shell. You can also use origami or construction paper and beads for eyes. All right, now it's time to begin. Let's start with our pink armadillo mouth. So I cut this out of cardboard. It is a pattern piece. You can find all my pattern pieces on my website. So cut it out and now let's trace it. We're gonna be tracing it on plastic. So you can find plastic like on your action figure box or a Barbie doll box, any kind of plastic lying around the house or cardboard like say on a cereal box would do. So let's trace it out of plastic. And once you trace out your mouth, we're gonna be cutting this plastic right here. And this is gonna make the top and the bottom part of the mouth. So keep cutting. Remember to be really careful. There we go, great. Now let's cut our mouthpiece in half. Right down the center, like that. So now we have a bottom and a top part of our mouth. So when we put them together, it makes a mouth that opens and closes. Next, we're going to tape the top and the bottom part of our mouth together. You can use it with any tape that you have around the house. You can use duct tape, you can use masking tape. A strong piece of tape would be nice. So there's the bottom part of the mouth. You put it right on the tape. And here is the top part of the mouth. And you want to put that right up against there. There we go. So it's going to look like that. Now, we cut away all the excess tape like this. And once we finish cutting our tape, you can see there's the mouth. And it opens and closes just like that. Next, we'll need to punch holes in our top and bottom part of our mouth. So go ahead and close it up, get a hole punch. I have a small hole punch that makes really small holes, or you can just use a regular hole punch, just like this one. And this one makes a little bigger holes, but it'll work as well. So let's get it right in the center of our mouth and punch the hole. Okay, then we take our plastic out, and you can see there's two holes right there, top and bottom. Now, grab your elastic or your rubber band. Either one will work. And with that, we're going to thread it through our mouth, just through the center holes. So let's thread it through the center hole there, and thread it through the other center hole this way. There we go, here it comes, just like that. So you're going to want to make something that looks kind of like this. At the bottom of your mouth, we're going to make a knot. So the one with two holes 
is where you're going to make the knot on the elastic. So let's do that right now. All right, there's our knot. And then you can pull it through. So this is the bottom and the top. All right. Now we have our little mechanism right here. Our thread is gonna go right in that hole on the bottom. So let's get our thread. And we're gonna put it through that hole on the bottom part of the mouth. Just right there. And it's gonna come out the other end, like that. In and out. Now, we're gonna make a knot with our thread. Right at the bottom. See that? Let's double and quadruple tie it, just so we make sure our mouth mechanism is sturdy. Two, three, and four. All right. Now you can cut off the excess thread, like that. So it's gonna look like that. So when we pull down on the string, it opens, and then it comes back up. Now it's time to put our mouth into our pink armadillo head. So grab a styrofoam ball, about this big, with an X-Acto blade, we'll cut our styrofoam ball. About that, that much. A little more than half. And then we don't need that part, so you can just throw that away. You're also gonna wanna make one more cut in your styrofoam ball. And that cut is just right down the center. Like that. Okay. So remember, the top part of your mouth is the elastic and the bottom part of your mouth is the string. With the elastic part, you're gonna go right through that little slice that you just made, like that. And the mouth fits right in there. Now, let's secure our top part of our mouth onto the styrofoam. You're gonna grab your glue gun and add some glue right onto the styrofoam. And at the low temperature setting would be best, so it doesn't eat away at the foam. All right, now we just pop our front mouth right in place, wait for the glue to dry, and our top part of our mouth should be in. Now that our glue is dry on the top mouth, we want to tie off the elastic. Now you want to tie the elastic with just enough tension for the mouth to return back to closed position. So right now it's at open when you pull the string, and then when you let go, if it returns to the closed position, then you're all set to go. So you wanna tie a knot at the top. Just like that. So one nice knot. And let's test the tension one more time. Open, nope. See right there? If it doesn't return back, you want to make it tighter. So let's tie our knot tighter. Let's see this. Open. Nope. Let's try one more time. That's it. To make sure that our knot keeps the same tension, let's add a little glue. Grab your glue gun, and right in that top hole, put a little glue. So the tension stays at that right position. Once the glue dries, then it should keep that tension and your mouth mechanism is ready to go. Now it's time to move on to the body. This is the pattern piece. You'll find the pattern pieces on the website. I know it looks like a funny shape, but don't worry, once we cut it out and we glue it together, it's gonna look just like our pink armadillo. Now let's cut out our pattern piece. As you can see, there's different labels on the pattern piece, so you can see where the legs are, where the head is, 
the neck, the arms. Be sure to cut these slits right in here. And this slit right here. As well as this one. This one. Over here. And that one. So all of these will kind of look like that. There you go. Okay, now let's grab our fur. And remember, you can buy this fur at any fabric place or craft store. A nice white fur, whatever, whatever you like. Be creative. So one thing to think about when you're placing your pattern piece on your fabric is where's the head and where's the butt plate? And as the fur, you want it to be going down that way. Like if you were petting the armadillo, the fur would be going that direction. So let's see, let's turn our fur over. And yep, it's going that direction. Can you see that? Great. Now let's trace our pattern piece onto our fur. And you can do this using any marker or pen that you have nearby. And make sure to trace right into those slits that we cut earlier. Right in there. You'll see why soon. Now, right now this pattern is flat. But once it gets put together, it's going to be a three-dimensional shape. And we'll see the magic happen soon. All right, let's put our pattern piece aside. Now it's time to cut our pattern out of our fur. Just cut along all the lines that you just traced. And also remember those slits. Cut down right there, right there, and here's one last slit right here. So your pattern piece is now in the fur. It should look something like this. Okay, now it's time to glue our body together. So I've labeled on the fur the different parts of the body. So it starts with the head, neck, arms, tummy, legs, and then the butt. So basically I want you to start with the arms and the legs. So what we're gonna do is grab these two pieces right here and these two pieces right here. So this is the right arm and this would be the left arm. Grab your glue gun and let's glue the right arm right now. Put some glue right on the edge of that slit. Remember to be really careful with your glue gun. It's high temperature, so I keep it on the low setting. And if for some chance you do burn yourself, it's okay, a bunch of people get burned with the glue guns. Just be really careful. All right, so that's coming together. So there's that arm, see that? And it kind of makes a little tube. Okay, let's do the left arm. Put some glue right along that slit. Right there. And let's get the other part of the arm and stick it together. Just like that. And once it dries, it should make a little tube, just like that. Okay, now we're going to repeat the same thing, but now with the legs. Glue just along that slit right here. And let's connect the leg. And again, glue and stick. There you go. Those are all your arms and legs. 
So I said, it should look something like this. Okay, now our body's starting to come together. It's time to glue the tummy and the neck portion. So on the neck portion, grab these two parts right here where we've cut those slits right below the head and we're gonna glue them together. So let's put some glue right at one end, like that, and let's glue it together. Cool, there you go, there's a neck. You can start to see the body come together, huh? Okay, now let's attach the tummy. Glue on one side, like that, and here comes the tummy. And stick. You can kind of cinch the fur together to make sure that the glue really binds both sides of the fur. Tummy, neck, arms, and legs. Now it's time to stuff our pink armadillo. So let's grab some fluff. This is like teddy bear stuffing. You can buy it at any craft store or, you know, fabric store. Also, what works really well is cotton balls. So let's grab some of that stuffing and let's just put it right into the belly. You can make them as full as you want. Now, we should close up the butt plate. Let's grab our glue gun and let's put some glue all along this part right here. Just a nice long string of glue. Okay, now it's time to close her up. And remember, you can cinch the fur just like this to make sure that it all comes together. Cool. Starting to look like a body. Great. All right, now it's time to make the pink armadillo shell armor that goes on his back. So you can find this on my website. It's a textured piece that you can print out and it looks just like the actual armadillo shell. Or you can use cardboard and just paint to make it look like this texture. You can paint it pink, you can paint it really any color you want. Just be creative. You can sponge paint it, you can use crayons, markers, whatever you want. So once you print this out, we wanna glue this to our cardboard. So grab some of your scrap cardboard, either a cereal box or a snack bar box, whatever you want. Now grab your glue stick. Let's glue the cardboard. Now let's add our texture right there and pat it down. Okay. Now you should have a good piece of cardboard that has the look of the shell. All right, now let's put this aside and I'm gonna show you this pattern piece that I made on my website. Here's our body armor. I made a leaf shape and then I cut it into 10 pieces. And on each side of each piece, there are three holes. And you can punch those out with a hole punch. Now it's time to trace this pattern piece onto our texture that we made earlier. So, let's put it right here. Grab a marker. Trace. Okay, be sure to make little marks where each segment is gonna be cut. Now let's start cutting out our pieces. Then you start cutting them into segments. So each one is its own puzzle piece. At this point, you might want to number them so you don't get confused. 
And this is what our body shell parts look like. Grab your needle and thread, and let's weave our armor shell together. You want to put your needle through this hole right here, on top. Make sure to insert the needle on the top to the bottom. Now, I'm going to put just a small dab of glue right there. And I'm going to push down my thread. Grab your needle, and let's keep weaving. Make sure the next piece goes underneath. That means you're going to put the needle on the top through the bottom. All right, now you weave through the middle hole. And again, from the top to the bottom. So you're gonna continue this weaving method all the way through all the parts on both ends. Remember top, Always start from the top to the bottom on these pieces. And then on the middle one, you're going to do the reverse. You're going to go from the bottom to the top. Weave in and out. Just like that. And then the pieces should stack together nicely. If you get confused, remember, you've numbered them, the pieces. So you can count one, two, three, and this is four. Top. Middle. And then on top one more time. This is what your shell armor looks like once you finish weaving it all together. So you can see it has great movement. Once we've threaded this all together, now it's time to attach our armor shell to the body. So let's grab our puppet from earlier. And now, let's grab our shell and put it on top of the puppet. So you can see how it's pretty straight. What you want to do is bend the pieces from the center to the outside. So bend our pieces, just give it a little bit of a curve, like that. See how it lays better? OK, so now it's time to attach our shell. First, you're gonna attach the tip of the nose to the top of the mouth. So you can see kind of where the nose would be, right there in the center. So let's put a dab of glue right there into our fur. And let's get our nose right there. And push down. Now all we have to do is attach the back plate. Let's grab a butt plate. So out of that textured material from earlier in the cardboard, just cut out a round shape. And that's going to be our butt plate. So let's push our armor aside. And right between the legs, you're going to glue this plate right there. So then the armor can lay really nicely right there. OK, let's do that right now. Grab a bunch of glue, put it all over your butt plate. And let's glue it right in there. That's about right. Now it's time to attach this back part of our armor to the fur. Let's grab some glue. Put some glue right along, number 10. And Let's put it right up against there where some fur just creeps through. It's kind of what the pink armadillo looks like. Push down on that last armor plate and hold that for a few seconds. All right, you can see your pink armadillo start to take shape. So here are the hands and feet. It's kind of in the shape of a spork. And now I'm going to fold it right down the center, just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing to each finger. I'm going to bend them right down the center. 
And they're going to all come out looking like this. And now I have two hands and two legs. Here's our tail shape. And with that, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bend it right down the middle, and you have a nice little tail. Okay. Now let's attach our hands. Remember those tubes from earlier? That's where you're going to put the hands in. Let's get some glue. Put some glue right in that tube. All around. Grab your hand and put it right in there. And now we can cinch our fur together. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Grab your tube. Put some glue. And let's attach our hand. And repeat for the legs. Okay, now we have our tail. Go ahead and bend that back part, just like that. And let's put some glue right there. So let's put some glue right on the back part of the tail. And now we can attach it right to the butt plate. Right about right there. Okay. Now our pink armadillo is starting to look good. He's got little hands, feet. Great. Okay, now comes the fun part. It's time to attach our eyes. But first, let's cut away at some of that fur where the eye is going to go. Just like that. Grab your glue gun and put some glue right in there. Now grab your bead or pin or whatever you want to make the eye and put it right there. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now he has his eyes. Gives him a lot more personality. Now that we have our puppet, it's almost time to puppeteer. So grab your wooden skewers and let's rig our puppet so it can move. Grab one skewer and just put it at the bottom of the head. Poke it through the styrofoam ball, like so. Now you can have movement of your puppet. And get the other skewer and let's put it right at the butt plate. Just right there. So now we have two rods. Now this turns into a rod puppet. I think we should secure our rods into the places. So let's add some glue. Push down your rod. And do the same under the head. Just to secure the rod in place. So now you can puppeteer the head and the mouth by pulling down on your string and holding the head rod. Then you can give it a funny voice like, Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> so now go out and have fun with the puppet. Hey, guys, I'm a pink armadillo. Yeah. <laughs> and that is how you make a pink armadillo. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Michelle from Viva La Puppet. I'll see you next time. Check out these buttons. Go to DIY to get the puppeteer skill. Okay, thanks, bye.